Now the first step is to try dash no tracing in launch option. So make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash no ray tracing. Now you can close this launch the game and then check. This has worked for many players so it might have worked for you. Still not working type in dash dx11. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step. Now the next step is to delete this cache in the in this location so go to this pc open c drive users folder your username app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder open the voyage folder open the saved folder now over here if you find like this if you find this pipeline cache in that case you can delete it in my case i don't have it but if you find this you can delete it and then relaunch the game and then check in my case it's not there now next step is to rename or delete the config folder for this you can go to the same location over here and then open the saved folder here you can see config you can make all the saved settings will be lost when you rename this folder so make a right click and then click on rename and you can rename this folder and once you rename it now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working next is to delete direct x shaders now for this type in disk cleanup in windows search box click on disk cleanup and over here you can see direct s direct x shader cache so put a check over here you can delete everything over here these are temporary files and now you can click on ok click on delete files and once this is done now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again add an allowed app browse all apps and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add click on ok again browse all app and then open this binary is win64 select this exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee Whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right the game, manage browse local files. You can make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click click on run as administrator and then check still not working open voyage folder binaries win64 and then make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working again go to properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website and then select your graphic card from the list Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. 
Now on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver, whichever is the latest, you can click on view and then click on download. And then run the CXC file. When you run the CXC file, click on yes to allow, click on OK and then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. And once the clean installation is done, restart the computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game. Still not working, then run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows set box, click on graphic settings. Click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again. And then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game. Select high performance over here. You will see your graphic card again, add desktop app and then open this Voyas folder, binaries win64, select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, scroll down, find the game in the list. Now click on the game, select high performance over here and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Now desktop users, uh, add. Uh, make sure that you connect your SDMI cable or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Next step is to disable on onboard graphics. Now for this, make a right click in the start menu, go to device manager. Now if your computer has a dual graphic card, expand display adapter. In my case, it's Intel. This is the integrated one. You can make a right click, disable it, and then relaunch the game. And once you're done playing the game, you can come back and then you can make a right click, enable the device once again. Now, next step is to roll back graphics driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, so on this page, uh, once you select your graphic card, you select view more version, click on it. Mm -hmm. You can try maybe the older graphic card driver. And when you go for installation, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer. And then you can check, still not working. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. You can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down. Here you can see x86 and x64 file. Download both the files, so click on it. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once both the files are installed, you have to restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, uh, you can type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel, click on hardware and sound, power options. Now over here, in my case, I have only balanced, but in your case, if you find this power saver option uh, like this, you can select power saver over here. So select power saver over here and then relaunch the game and then check. You can even try balanced or high performance, but first of all, try power saver and then check. Still not working, disable or enable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. If it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Close all the overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay and then close Discord. Discord. Now, if you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app settings and then you can turn off this NVIDIA overlay, turn it off and then you can close this NVIDIA app and then relaunch the game. Close all kinds of overlay application. Do not overclock, set it to default, close all the overclock, overclocking application. Like if you have MSI after when revert unit running, close it. Close all kinds of third party application and services and then check. Next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate. So if your monitor refresh rate, if, this is just an example. If your monitor refresh rate is 240 Hz, you can try 120 Hz or maybe 60 Hz and then check. Also disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. Next step is to update windows to the latest version. This is important, so open windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. After the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to the system manufacturer website. Suppose you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. Whichever brand you have, go to their website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the BIOS in the driver's page. Download it, install it and then in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charge is cha the charger is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings over here. 
and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM so you can check total RAM in Windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your RAM and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on OK OK you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on OK follow the next step now still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices like if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect external keyboard or mouse which you are not using like if you have key crown or razor huntsman keyboard connected you can disconnect it. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolt to the computer. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game. After the uninstall go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.